Welcome back. Welcome back to Chaos. Yay! <laughs> they have successfully defeated Salazar and are now and butt fucked his grandmother. Sitting. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> and are now sitting in. We took turns. Uh, well, the one. She's not a freak. office. So, yeah. Um. Right when you sit down, there's a, 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 a knocking at the door, Four percussions that makes and sense. A, uh, a, a a mage comes in. Not the guy that you saw, just like a different mage. Mm -hmm. that, Magical looking yellow yeah. fellow. Um, yeah. Where are Tired. the remains of Salazar? Mm -hmm. you dump Hand the bag out the myself. bag of body piece things. Ah. Right. He fell into a pool of our tech on purpose after we <sighs> killed him and then we had to uh, kill him again. Killed him again with ice and he was on fire. Fair enough. Okay. And and he he, he uh, motions the the mage to examine the the pieces. The pieces. He casts a little magic on it and does determine that it is in fact Salazar. So that was the guy who gave you all the trouble? Yes. <clears throat> he kept spiders in his house. This guy was fucking insane. <laughs> well, uh, that happens. That's what Rand no. focused on the whole time. The re well, there, there's actually a couple Still of reasons why we have to be the person. Right? Yeah. This uh, this quantity of, of bounty <clears throat> money. Yep, yeah, it's right, dangerous. Is is su substantial enough that we needed physical proof before we check. Dish to that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Dish that out. <laughs> now. <laughs> He's very up with the kids' lingo, isn't he? <laughs> the. Also. Music band. Thing. Music band. They're hip hop the, jams. I, I had heard through my, my contacts that you made some kind of deal with the Fishing Guild? Yep. Mm -hmm. Because. You saved him. You saved them from... Their economy. Yep. Okay. Aquaman. Well, you wouldn't know that. I can't remember what no, the guy's name was. Because the <clears throat> they knew that you guys would try and hide it and not give me any money. It's like, hey, uh, we had a nice little money. We gave Raziel his money. Yeah, you I didn't have know you knew Raziel. Raziel's gone. And? And he told... I just didn't know uh, that Leas, Leas, about everything Leas, Leas knew Raziel. Okay. Out. That doesn't mean Raziel can't get his money. Yeah, he, he, you're not going to find it, though. <laughs> we don't need to find him. Well, we'll take his We've got a guild that knows where he is. Why are That's you complaining? True. We'll take his share. I'm a fair thief. Oh, well, that's <laughs> you. He is an honest liar. <laughs> I am an honest liar. Uh, and it was... You know what's best um, a dishonest person? Seven percent? Seven and a half percent. Seven and a half percent. <laughs> you were the one that... You're the negotiator. Got it. So I can get out of here. Soren's the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> Look, I, I, I understand that concept, right? Um, and they did okay, right? And that's fine. What has been paid up so far? Great, right? It was unsanctioned um, contract, right? Uh, and so we were told they talked to the guild, not just the fishermen's guild, every guild. We were told this was cleared. Fair enough. Yes, we were. Yeah, we were. He we had, had, to, had really, to wait. Yeah, we had to wait. Two days to yeah, happen. I didn't remember. Yeah, that. that's been Fair so enough. long ago. Really. We're not stupid. You're I told you I remember things. Just don't write them down. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so here is your money, right? And he, he uh, snaps his fingers and... It's like three bucks, isn't it? A figure walks... <laughs> uh, About walks from the shadows of one of the corners of the room. <laughs> and there is a bag. Pretty decent sized bag. Probably full of platinum. Um, and it does have quite a bit of platinum. Not now, mostly platinum, it's mostly gold. Maybe copper. Because of the relatively expedient manner in which you took out Salazar, uh, we'll 
make it a nice, uh, well, we'll bump that up a little bit. So nice. the total amount that you'll be getting is uh, 18 astral diamonds. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay. Could you translate that to gold, please? <laughs> 180,000 gold. gold. Total but we're going to have to find a, someone. That's total. Yeah, that's not easy. Well, I say 5 by 6 is a wonderful 30. So everybody gets 30,000 gold. 30,000 gold. Or 30 platinum. Yeah. Right. Or it would be uh, 300. That's 300 platinum? Yeah, because gold is. Well, platinum is 100 gold. Oh, so yeah, it would be 100. Yeah. I've never had a number this big. Now, we have news as well. Rand just paid himself a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like Rand is, has no clue money. You're going to need this money. Yeah. yeah. Of course we are. We know. Uh, we've, we've been doing research and uh, like, a, like God, the... The University of Magi has been doing extensive research on these box? these pieces yes. of the Pearl of Avon. Okay. Right? And uh, you haven't experienced any kinds of activity associated with it. Associated with it, right? What do you mean? Pretty much it's just been locked in a box. What would I know about it? That's where it stays. With because studying ancient abyssal stuff. It's not abyssal. Yeah, that's the opposite. But it does have here's it's it's strange that, that, that it actually hasn't been happening around you. It might have something to do with the magic of, of the box that it's in. It's a pretty good box. Um, <laughs> it's made gold. But because of the the power of Pieces, even just the individual pieces, is of such a, uh, a holy quality, right? That it affects the surroundings in a couple of different oh, possible ways. Box. It really depends on the surrounding area, context, it's in, right? It can either generate a, a hallowed ground where there's like angelic beings and stuff or it can have the opposite effect where it draws desecrated in, where where, Demons? where where it draws in demonic forces who want to try to destroy it or obtain it and use it for their own I'll games. talk to them under the language That's sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> I do know their language it's just sarcasm that's the line with Sarkis? Um, yes. I was language. just those half ah. <laughs> One of the... Check like, because of that, there have been reports here and there of strange activity. Right? One of them is actually in Ganrock, which is the big gnome city. That's uh, oxymoron, isn't it? North... <laughs> uh, North. You didn't even crack a fucking smile. <laughs> North, northwest ish of here. Is there it is. Is, <laughs> that, is that on the other side of the mountains? No, it's it's in the mountains. In like, the mountains. Okay. It is Just in north, northwest from here. Okay. It's in the underbelly, basically. Oh. Uh, of 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 these mountains. Was it uh, or two? Not, not in the end rock, probably. But okay. You never know. Uh, like yeah, really. about half elf dude. As 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 you are most most likely aware, I do happen to have a fairly large amount of coal, pretty much anywhere I go. Uh, Garnock is one of those places that I don't. Yeah. Because of. A, by the way, he's a halfling, right? He's a halfling. Yes. It's like, yeah. yeah, we all. I we don't all kind of really have. Authority there. Any any kind of, of standing authority. Now I do in terms of <laughs> official political business. The guilds that are there. But basically, the way that Ganrock functions is 
the first four tiers are generally accessible, but the the three that go further in towards the tower are um, very well protected from anyone other than gnomes. Big gnome city. <coughs> But the activity that's that's occurring is actually underneath. Uh oh, the whole yeah. city. We need Quick to go down shatter. deeper the down beneath Shit. the city. We just need to make sure we don't dig too too deep too quickly. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. We don't want no Balrogs up in there. Um, the gnomes have been digging down <laughs> deeper just to. Uh, get get to more gemstones, and more and, space, um, stuff. crafting materials, and things like that. And they hit upon an area that has a surprising a, a surprising amount of demonic activity. Your friends? Yeah. No. Uh, now, friends. Demonic activity does happen. That's fair. For, that was depending upon. Watch. A number of different factors. Um, underground, it is more likely because it, it, it seems to be more closely attuned to the abyss. Right? Yes. But this is really pronounced and like big chaos scene bigger things are showing up. And uh, we think it has to do with one of the pearls, one of the pieces of the Pearl of Avon, of course. I have a question. Yo. <laughs> What's going to happen if we get two of these too close together? We don't know. There's what, eight of them? Nine? There's seven. 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 It's the dragon ones. I, I wanted to not just assume, because I forgot. There, <laughs> there, there are, are seven. Um, There are a couple of other places that we've had um, bizarre activity, like reports of bizarre activity. And there are some places that haven't been checked because of their inaccessibility that would be good to look into. Like, for example, um, the, the, the southern continent. I remember we were already told about... It's really white there if you can't tell. The other continent yeah. to find very, very cool. another one of the pearls, but uh, and there's a mountain in the center. That's uh, all that we really have information on yeah. there. Uh, but you never know. There are uh, sort of it's fabled or uh, historically mythos, whatever. There was a being of great power that dwelled in that mountain. But the tales are fairly uh, quite old, and it's unclear as, as to what they've led what to. Which way his really power went? Yeah. All right. Cool. Also in Chagaus, which is the uh, this. Uh, so what the hell am I looking at there? This continent. The opposite side. Is not on the opposite side. It's actually well, um, south. Yeah, but like. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, southeast-ish. Kind of like of, Australia. Of the coast. Damn it! Everything there can kill us. Yeah, it can. Off of that coast. <laughs> what? Um, everything in Australia, Australia, Australia kills us. Boy, is like Australia space? Fucking Australia. drop bears. That's like Australia, but it's space. <laughs> space Australia. <laughs> yeah. Go space, Brisbane. Go space. It would be. Um, now, granted, I food. I don't have. Space. This is another one of those places that I, I have very little, if, if any, pull at all. But I do have a pretty decent spy network in most places. Um, is there anywhere that you do have a good network of If you have, a, pull if you have a network, us. can you give us the names of anyone to get in touch with once we would here, get to somewhere here, closer? Here's the thing, and this is actually one of the thing, one of the places that we need to deal with as soon as possible. Is Uskyla, uh, which that? is right here. Okay. 
And it too, here's, here's why it's problematic. And why it would be very good to deal with this as soon as possible. Uskylum is the primary city of the Death Elves. <laughs> and... Uh, shit. It's been... Uh, it's been a good while since, since had they've contact. had what they call the Purge. Uh, which most of you are familiar with. Yeah, might, be, really bad might, yeah. might be might might be uh, familiar with. Periodically... Rain is not. <laughs> Death Elves are... The balance are, are like were originally created to <coughs> maintain the balance of the veil. So as life flourishes, it throws it out of balance. Okay. The balance between life and death. Right. So, so periodically, death elves come out in droves and kill a bunch of people to realign. That. Oh no! I think the amount of death and destruction that we caused in the past few months. Taking care of the health. No, you, <laughs> you guys have have been affecting that in both the killing of enemies and the tavern Saving. visits. Perk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Herc. laughs> um, but that they, they're having a again higher than normal demonic interference down there and that's really bad for us because they can through their magic they can to a to a degree at least control some of those demonic forces and can possibly use them during a purge which is which would make it much more efficient but it would also um, be a lot of death yes we want to try to reduce that, that, Quell that, the power. that from happening. Um, there's one other one... So you want us to walk into hell and kill the demons while they're in hell, basically. Neat. Which is why you, I'll bring you're going to need... I will bring a lot of marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> then why the fuck am I bringing marshmallows? Because you won't have enough. God, what a stupid plan this is. <laughs> there is a... Um, City in Etosin. I <laughs> don't know these places. I actually need to make some. I'm so confused. <laughs> Hang on. Rand is mostly confused by the theological talk. He's more of a point at who you want guy. Money. Not even money. Just like I get a, oh, I get a, no I get a shiny. Yeah. Oh, this is the most money I've ever had in my Rand's entire life. I need to go find. Uh, Holy man, and a chance we begin to work together. So I'm not even going to buy anything that fancy. Or I'm just going to buy a bunch of the city of of Imaka, which is go. in the desert. The big, big, oh goddamn scorps, right here, has, um, and this is actually relatively recent. Um, the desert seems to have receded from the city. And they're getting like very lush plant growth in the middle of the desert with no uh, discernible cause. Did her fuck the desert cause it a discernible cause? No. You sure? He puts his dick everywhere. Quite sure. He puts everything's dick on him. No, he doesn't want any more scorps. Of course, the uh, north and south uh, poles really haven't been thoroughly investigated. Now, the southern one, of course, has that big mountain in the center, determined to have the powerful being. The northern one is largely barbarian territory. So, uh, lots of Where lots of going? frozen tundra. The best what you're asking? No, no. Um, because I, I don't know which directions I have to choose from even. Well, it really depends on which right. which route you want to go. Um, there's another place that we haven't had the chance to fully explore yet, and that's 
uh, is the Dragon Isles, which you would know is where all of the uh, non-sick dragons live. The ones we can talk to. Yeah. Without dying. When they get the dragon sickness, they are Angry. exiled. What's the dragon sickness? They start Greed. killing everything. No. Become, Greed. They become oh, okay. chaotic and greedy. They become smog. Essentially. Yeah. Yes. Yo, I want nothing to do with none of them goddamn what Thor dragons. What Thor's grandfather? You will soon. Not yeah. Now. Essentially. You become obsessed with gold and gold. the Arkenstone. Not the Arkenstone. <laughs> it's just pretty. <laughs> Anyway, that's the current standing um, intel I, I don't that we know have. How we've been talking about it. I'm not sure where we're talking about. All the, that, that's in and out of He gave us a list okay. of all the places we want to go to. That's a, that's a right. Bill. So this is where you are. Sorry, guys, you can't see this, but I need an explanation. This is where you are. Here. Side right here. Danrock is where they're that's having like some demonic activity. Side. Okay. No, it's Sartek. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot we didn't start to Sartek. We're not in the tower, tower anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's why I got confused. Yeah. Genrock is just having some issues. Genrock's the one, is the, is the big gnome city. Yeah, yeah Genrock, the gnome city. Marco, yeah. Just having good stuff happen to them. What What was that again? DeMarco? I, I, I am AKO. AKO. Yeah. Uh, this is the Dragon Isles. The Isles of Treachery should be investigated at some point as well. Not today. Um, Uskalim is right here. That's the big death elf place. Don't want to go there either, that bad. And then the the IC Tunnels. I said Ganrock is where we... Ganrock is the closest. It's still in the continent. It is on, yeah. And there's people... My height, instead of you fucking tall people. Grow. Grow. <laughs> <laughs> now, sure if there are any large gaps, we can toss you. Don't worry, you're not a dwarf. You wouldn't feel bad about it. One of these days, you're going to wake up with a knife in your spleen. You know that, right? You know he doesn't sleep, right? There <laughs> is... There I got that was there, Kyron saying that. Yeah, I know. There I got are, nothing. There are stirrings of uh, like death elf movement um, in terms of like preparing in terms for of town. another. What would we do to uh, stop the death elves? Other than going in mass go murder, we're not going to stop them. And going in you know, before we do stirring. anything, there's a whole lot of stuff. No, it's it's just uh, stirrings. We don't know exactly when or, or what format or anything like that. We just know that it's been quite a while since it's happened. Like, is in several hundred Can we years. take a week off to think about what our next move is? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah. You just got done um, with some shit. <laughs> you do have, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're not going anywhere yet. Yeah, I know, this, this is, is a lot. There's no way we're this moving away yet. Yeah. 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 Oh, and since we are here, thank you know, there are mages everywhere. That teleporter thing we have in our tower. Can we connect that to the other end of the continent too? Is that possible? Um, Was it Elecar? Elecar? Yeah. Once I have a teleportation circle, I can do a lot of things. But do I don't have what you right guys no. is. I don't have it to like ninth level or eighth. That's why I'm asking. Okay. Um, is that like a like a two city like setup there? Is that possible? I don't want to go like every single city we've ever been to. You mean like be able like, to go from uh, Sartak to our tower to another another in the continent without taking six months to fucking get there would be great. That's fair. Uh, it would be. That's all really good. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but it is costly to do that. I ain't paying for it. That's in character. I need a number. Ah. Well, I don't know the number. I just know it costs a lot. You need to speak with someone in the University of Magi. Talking to a road. Um, we, of course, we do have now a substantial amount of, of money. Uh, 
one thing of important note. Yes. Uh, the the price here's the how should I word this? What time is it actually? Okay. Uh, we are out of time for this video. I have to think about how how to word this next part. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, just bear with me. Later.